what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're talking about french referee pascal who refed the big game over this past weekend wales taking on england which gave wales the triple crown a phenomenal comeback after being one year ago in such a tough state of rugby wales managed to beat the three teams that they needed to beat which is scotland ireland and now england making it the triple crown phenomenal achievement for wales as i said after being in a tough situation they moved up two places in the world rankings which is an outstanding achievement overtaking australia and ireland Brilliant outcome for coach Wayne as he predicted at the start of the season that Wales could potentially win the Six Nations tournament of 2021. A lot of people laughed at him and said after what we saw last year there's no way that's going to happen. Well they are currently undefeated and well on their way to a possible Grand Slam Six Nations title and deservedly so. But what made headlines and took over the Wales result is that um, fr French referee Pascal made two critical errors which gave Wales two tries. One, obviously we know about where he first allowed uh, Wales to take a penalty from which they scored in the corner while the England players were in a huddle. There's been a lot of debate as to why were the England players in a huddle? Why weren't they ready? Why weren't they prepping into their position? Also, Owen Farrell arguing with the referee. Wales were pre preparing while they were just chatting to the referee. Why couldn't have the, the English players got into a line and got prepared? But hey, that's open to debate. Everyone's got their own opinion. And I suppose wherever you are from, you might be on the favour of one side or the other. But it's a point to be raised. He then allowed Liam Williams try to stand despite a blatant knock-on from wing Louis Rees Zammet. He told French Judette, um, who was in a, a French uh, rugby newspaper article for the Midi Olympique um, on Monday, he said that um, Pascal had acknowledged to him that he got both decisions wrong. He then goes on to, to, to say, I think one has to be transparent, say what one thinks rather than let things fester, said um, Jadechi. In the game, there were two unfortunate incidents which were not simple to manage. I know from having spoken to him by phone on Sunday morning that Pascal recognised himself um, as making the error. The first strike came in the 16th minute when he had instructed England captain Owen Farrell to talk to his players about their discipline. Fair enough, but then he allowed it going on. But in my eyes, the guys could have been ready. But I do get the frustration of why England were in the situation. And also, he could ask the guys to talk to their players, but then allowed the try. Should have maybe waited till after the penalty or been clearer with his description. And this is when I bring on this whole talk of a captain's referral now i know mixed many people have mixed emotions on this topic um you want the game to just keep on flowing and all that stuff but for me a captain's referral will give captain the opportunity to go listen you said oh, you want us to talk to um the team i want to refer refer this decision and maybe get it overturned you said let me talk to the players at my players when i idle we were going about to have a chat and then Wales took the penalty and then further on scored. So it's those kind of debates and situations where we'll talk, where people will talk about. And obviously it's a try. It gives Wales the momentum to go forward and all that jazz. But the captain's referral will give them the opportunity to discuss just that and to try and recall and rethink um, different things. It said, as they were huddled, uh, he called time on, allowing Wales to restart. So obviously he probably meant you need to talk to your players after the penalty or allow something to happen. Fly off Dan Bigger kicked across field where there were no England players for Josh Adams to score in the corner. From that moment when the referee says time on, game can recommence. Unfortunate thing, but yeah. Except that it was on him to make sure that the English had significant time to reorganize themselves because it was him who had asked the captain to speak to the players. So I can understand that argument and why these things can come out. And then it said to Goza and his TMO then decided that Reece Samet had not knocked on um, in the lead up to the Williams try. The ball was not under the control of the Welsh wing and went forward to his thigh. 
which he said and law such as they are written there isn't this notion of loss of control that's why situation lends itself into to, to confusion but the reality is if pascal had blown for a knock-on no one would have had been able to complain so obviously now because it's these types of situations in a big game like wales versus um, england you know these things happen and obviously further things that took on place in this game was um, the media report when uh, the one a journalist had said to Owen Farrell blatantly do you believe the referee's call was the reason I must say credit to Farrell the how he responded it's not my responsibility to talk about it and they're not allowed to moan they then went on to ask Eddie Jones this and he said mate we can't comment because we will get fined and he obviously cares about putting uh, food on the table for his family so therefore didn't answer the question which I can understand but for me personally if there are decisions being made or referees making bad calls I reckon why can't they let be a little bit outspoken with decisions like this because clearly if the referee now admits to his mistakes then the coaching staff surely are allowed to you know egg on Obviously, you've got to do it in a respectful sportsmanship way because we are all human at the end of the day and mistakes do happen. But I feel that the co players and coaches do deserve to be a little bit more vocal when decisions are being made. But again, with respect um, to the referee who is the head of the game. And this is why I believe in the opportunity of a captain's referral to prevent these situations of happening. But the problem you have here yeah, is when a TMO makes an error as well how do you backtrack that how do you get that reviewed do you review a review of a TMO who doesn't really know what to say or do you then go to the on-field referee and say maybe you make the decision but technically he can't because he's got no camera equipment so there's a debate that can go on for on and on about this current situation and it's a tough one I mean we can all argue, we can all moan, but unfortunately, as a rule state, Eddie Jones and Aaron Farrell had to bite their tongue over the referee. They couldn't out be outspoken because they would get fined. And for me, I thought Aaron Farrell handled it quite well by saying, it's not for me to judge, da 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 da. So in other words, probably in agreement, but he's not allowed to say anything and credit to him for doing exactly that. But hey, who well, are we we're just fans talking it needs to be done by world rugby so i still recommend captain's referral everyone's going to debate on this whether they agree or not i still feel england were in a huddle maybe they couldn't have been referee did say talk to the players which then goes okay referee made the call england players were in a huddle this has happened so many times it's happened to south africa it's happened to all the teams so I think it's because it's such a big game, an important one for Wales, an important one for England, that unfortunately the call wasn't the way, or didn't go the way of England. But anyway, we could debate this forever and ever. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Should referees get punished for making mistakes like this that can cost a game? Or should it just be blown under the carpet? Or if the situation isn't as serious as what it may seem should do we blame the ref or do we just let things go i mean it, when you get two tries and a team ends up winning as well as what um wales did you know those types of things are questions that will be asked but anyway i still think wales deserved it and wales are a phenomenal team england are a phenomenal team and i'm sure they will bounce back as well as they approach this but for now what can we do it's all up to world rugby that's gonna do it for today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys real soon for another one stay safe and never give up cheers